I started this club last year uh, basically just to, as a way to get guys out uh, do weekly trail runs. Uh, we do, there are a few clubs in town. I felt we, we were kind of missing the, uh, an in-between club that had a lot of exposure with a club that would do weekly runs. So this hopefully is sort of the best of both of those situations. These trucks uh, are classified as hobby grade radio controlled cars. The, the biggest difference is with these vehicles, uh, you can buy parts, you can fix what gets broken, whereas your average run of the mill uh, remote control cars you buy at the big box store, generally once they're broken, they're broken and they just end up in the garbage. So these ones, uh, parts are not that expensive. The initial cost is a little bit higher, but because you can upgrade them and buy the parts off the shelf, it ends up in the long run that it can be quite an enjoyable hobby and modify is sort of part of the fun as well with these trucks. Just about everybody we see thinks these, these trucks are fantastic. And we're always, you know, we're more than willing to let, especially the younger kids, you know, you can, you can drive our trucks, come up, ask us. You know, we're all very friendly. And again, we just want to, if we can share the hobby with, with more people, it, everybody kind of wins in the end. I find I'm up sometimes frequently late the night before, making sure everything is ready to go and, and, uh, and getting things uh, as bulletproof as you can before you show up. We were out last night for a night run at the same location and um, I went to plug in a battery and it wasn't my battery, I was borrowing a battery from somebody else and I, I inadvertently plugged it in backwards, which is not the best thing to admit, but it smoked the ESC, the, the uh, electronic speed control, which controls the speed to the motor, the, the, the voltage to the motor. And so I had to get a new unit and put that in all night last night and it took me until about 4.30 I was up and getting the truck ready to run again. The one that I have, it's a... Uh I have it set for the the Corvette engine, V8 Chevy engine, because of the the little four cylinder one was didn't sound quite as <laughs> quite as nice. <laughs> there's a little uh, pallet, and on the pallet there's two little wooden crates, and then I got the two uh, scale looking shocks strapped onto the top. I can play around with it for a couple of hours easy about four or five times a week, just trying out different things, different settings. I've been driving about six years. I met most of my friends through this hobby. So when I come out, I meet new people instead of just not meeting anyone. And uh, the outdoors is always nice to come for a walk, whether it's summer, winter, I can make battery packs last a, like three or four hours on a single charge and I'm not in a rush to go anywhere. It's just a good time with buddies and family.